Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about this beautiful Chanel classic flap. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll learn that I recently purchased this item on the pre-loved market on Fashion File and saved about $2,000 off of retail. Um, this is the Chanel classic double flap in caviar leather with silver hardware in the size medium. This bag currently retails for, I want to say, 8200 US dollars at the moment that I'm filming this video. We know that Chanel has had several, several um, recent increases in their price. I remember when I first purchased my very first Chanel item, it was the Maxi uh, Classic Double Flap in caviar leather with silver hardware. Uh, again, the size was maxi, and I think I paid $5,500 at that time. This was about four or five years ago. That bag now retails for $10,000. So it just goes to show you how much of their price in increases, how many times, and how expensive they've now become. Some people will argue that purchasing a Chanel bag is almost as good, if not better, than investing in stocks. <laughs> I had a friend that told me prior to my purchasing my first Chanel bag that it really is an investment piece. It's not just for us handbag lovers that truly appreciate and adore the design and everything that Chanel has come to be known for, but it truly is an investment piece. If you hold on to your bag and you sell it years later, you can, in many cases, make more money. In some cases, Chanel is actually uh, priced much higher on the resale market than in stores. I've seen Chanel maxis go for well over $10,000. I've seen the medium classic flap that I have here go over um, well above retail value. It all depends on the size of the bag, the type of bag, and whether or not it's in demand at that time. But without further ado, let's get into this particular bag and what I'd like to discuss with you today, which is identifying whether your Chanel classic flap is truly authentic. For those of us that like to save money like me, I will you know, recommend shopping on the pre-loved market. Full disclosure, I used Fashion File. You'll see I still have the Fashion File tag here. I have not removed it, despite it being well over the 30-day time frame that you're allotted before returning an item for a full refund. So full disclosure, when you purchase a pre-loved item off of Fashion File, they are supposed to guarantee authenticity. They do have their own, own authenticating department that guarantees the authenticity of each of your items. And they give you a 30-day um, free return, full guarantee, money back, 30-day uh, policy. Now with this bag, as you know, uh, we've been in the middle of a move. We are having construction done on our home. So we have currently relocated temporarily to an apartment nearby. Um, so I have not had the time to really deal with this until recently. So within the last two weeks or so was when I really sat down and said, okay, let me reach out to Fashion File and share my concerns with them. My first stop, as with many of you, was Google, right? So my first question was, and the reason I questioned it is because the bags, not the shape, not the feel, everything else ties out. It was the... Um, weight of the bag. And I couldn't find anywhere on Google what the true weight, the, the correct weight is of the Chanel classic double flap medium. So I looked at other things, right? I Googled, how do you know if your bag is authentic? And many different things came up. I mean, there's a variety of different ways from looking at the grommets to the buckle, the turn lock, looking at the chain strap um, to the quilting, right? And that's where I noticed that was, that was the one thing that didn't check out. Many websites will say that the stitching on each of the quilts for a Chanel classic flap should be a minimum of 10 to, uh, 10 to 11 stitches, if not more, for the size medium. Now, obviously, if it's a smaller bag, like a mini, it's gonna be a smaller stitch count, somewhere around eight. Now, I counted the stitch count on this, and I, I did it over and over again. I mean, I had to take close-up pictures. Let me see if I can zoom in here so you guys can really see. So I don't know if you can tell here, but I was counting eight, eight stitches per uh, square. I was not counting 10 or 11, and that really got me concerned, along with the fact that the bag feels so light. 
Um, everything about the bag, like I said, the caviar leather feels great. That checks out the chain strap. Um, I'm going to zoom out again. Okay, so the chain strap, the sound, right? For those of you that love your ASMR, the sound checked out, everything else checked out except for the weight of the bag and the stitch count. So of course, I reached out to Fashion File right away and said, can you connect me with your authenticity department and just walk me through your process? Which they did, and I will read you exactly what they said. Everything was done over email. I did not call them. I found that Fashion File was very responsive. They were timely in their responses. I usually got a response within 24 hours, which I thought was very fast. And when I reached out about my concerns regarding the bag, they contacted me right away. Now, one thing I just want to mention is this bag came with the dust bag, no box, no authenticity card. So of course that kind of worried me even more, but the fact that I didn't have an authenticity card with the bag. So here was Fashion Files response. I won't read the entire thing, but I will kind of give you a little bit regarding their process and what they shared with me. So here's their response. To give you a little insight into our process, after an item is received, it goes through a rigorous brand specific authentication process in-house, allowing us to extensively and meticulously analyze all textiles, hardware finishes, font styles, and construction. Only after an item satisfies all of these requirements will it be approved for our site. Per your concerns, the authentication manager has reevaluated the Chanel Caviar quilted medium double flap black included in this order. Upon further review, we can confirm no nuances in construction indicating the item, item is inauthentic were found. As noted, our authentication specialists use a variety of methods and tools to analyze and confirm authenticity. While we do consider all aspects of an item's construction, including stitching, stitch angle, reinforced stitching, thread sheen, etc., stitch count and or number of quilts is not a viable method of authenticating Chanel. As we've noted, quilt counts vary through collections and quality control issues during the manufacturing process. This particular item was originally authenticated by two authentication specialists who noted all characteristics of this item are consistent with Chanel authenticity markers. As such, we stand behind our determination that this item is authentic. And they go on to say, we are so confident that all of our items are authentic that we offer a 100% lifetime guarantee and a 30-day return policy, must have all tags included and still attached. Please let us know if you have any additional questions or concerns as we greatly value your patronage. I probably butchered that word. <laughs> um, either way, they, they sent that over to me. They went, you know, there was a little more back and forth. I was a little concerned still about the stitch count. Um, they wrote back and they said, while I surpassed the 30-day return window, they were willing to extend it by a day or two if I needed some time. But again, we were in the middle of moving and still organizing and getting settled. I knew that wasn't going to give me enough time. So I simply said, I just want to pay to have this item authenticated by a third-party vendor that is not affiliated. So they said that uh, they would be happy to honor me a full refund um, they have a lifetime authentic, authentic, ooh, excuse me, authenticity guarantee. And if I can prove that the item is inauthentic, they will refund me. Um, and I had asked, you know, I went on to ask if they had any recommendations. I didn't have any experience with authenticity vendors or folks that, that you know, know Chanel and can authenticate it. Um, but they did write back and they said, here it is, if you wish to contest the item's authenticity, we require you submit a certificate from a reputable authentication service, such as authenticatefirst.com, stating the item is non-authentic. Um, so they were simply asking that I email them the certificate and they would generate a return level and, uh, label sorry, and process my refund in full upon the item's arrival back to Fashion File. So I thought that was very generous. I said, you know, I love the bag. Otherwise, I'm very happy with it. I simply want to confirm that um, 
it is authentic and I just want to kind of have my own peace of mind. So of course I took to Instagram and one of my lovely um, subbies replied back and recommended um, Zico authentication. Now, I'd never heard of Zico Zico authentication um, prior to this person responding and providing me with that information. So I did my research. I went on her website um, and she is known for her expertise in Chanel bags. She only authenticates Chanel bags and she's been doing it for several years. So this woman knows her Chanel inside and out. Um, She does have specific requirements when you send her Uh, the item for authentication. We did everything online. Everything was done over email. Um, I provided her with emailed pictures of the item in specific formats and shots that she recommended. So when you you sign on, I I went onto her website. I purchased the certificate of authentication. It costs $50. And she emails you and sends you a file that shows exactly how she wants the photos sent to her. So of course, you know, you have to take very, very close up shots. I will try to in- and include some of those here. Apologies, I have not become an expert yet on editing my videos, but I will do my best to try and include some shots at the end if I can figure it out. But she requested very specific close up shots um, of the grommets, of the chain strap, of the CC logo here, the turn lock, um, the back of the logo, I'm sorry, the back of the turn lock here, this Chanel um, Paris hardware right here, the zipper, the CC inside the double flap, the buttons, uh, all buttons I had to send, um, the, you know, specific close up, close ups of the turn lock itself. Now, if you follow her on her Instagram, she will include um, certain pieces of information that tell you a little bit more about why she asks for certain pictures and how she can tell the authentication uh, by those photos. You know, one thing I learned and I and I highly recommend you follow her. I find her extremely valuable. Her knowledge is impeccable. I mean, she really knows her stuff. Um, the turn lock itself Uh, She showed the authentic versus the fake. Let me see if I can get a close up there for you guys. So the way that it's shaped here, you'll see that there's like a slight curve in inside that divider there, that line between what separates the piece that actually turns versus the, I would say the nub, right? Uh, The stem. And on the fake, it almost looks like it's connected all together there's still the line dividing it but it doesn't have that rounded edge as it goes inside to the middle as it meets to allow for the turn lock to twist so that was just one thing the other thing that i've read a lot about and she includes on her page as well is the zipper there's three different types of zippers that chanel uses in their bags Um, here's mine this is a This is a, let me see, I have to get a closer, EP, sorry, I thought it was a YKK, it's not a YKK, this is an EP zipper, she will ask for close-ups of the zipper, she wants to see the inside of the zipper as well, sorry, let me turn this around, she wants to see the inside of the zipper as well, so this piece here, let me see if I can show you, I'm turning the bag around, this piece here, if you lift the zipper up slightly, and try to get underneath it, she does ask for a close-up of that. Um, Apparently on the fakes, they tend to use some cheaper zippers, although I've I've heard that there's some wonderful fakes out there that really go all in with the quality and it's it's almost hard to tell. Um, So anyway, after sending her the pictures, and I have to say I did this over the holiday, over the Thanksgiving holiday, she was extremely responsive, always responded to my emails within 24 hours. Um, I did send her all of the pictures in the format she requested with the exception of the Um, serial number inside the bag that was the hardest picture to get I think I was sweating as I was taking multiple shots of that picture um, of the uh, authentication sticker the the serial number inside the bag but uh, I finally got it right after a couple of emails and she was able to provide me with my results so Dun, dun, dun. The results are that this bag is authentic. So this is a truly authentic Chanel piece. 
Again, it just goes to show you Fashion File was 100% accurate. You cannot go by the stitch count. And there are so many websites that will tell you otherwise. If you Google, I just Googled it just before filming this video, and I'm on thevintagebar.com, and here it says the number two way of telling whether your Chanel Classic Flap is authentic is to ensure that the number of stitches is a minimum of, it says between nine and 11 individual stitches per panel. On an older style, there might be as few as eight. However, only a fake Chanel will have less than this. So I don't know that I would consider this too much of an older style. This is a 2013, circa 2012, 2013. I think Fashion File said it was 2012. Um, it does have eight stitches per quilting. Let me know if you see otherwise. I, I have very bad eyesight, and I have to tell you, I took numerous close-up shots to try and get the count correct. I even had my son take a look and count it, and we each counted eight. So it just goes to show you, you can't go by the stitch count. Um, the other thing is the chain straps, right? So if the chain straps feel lightweight, that's another indicator that it could be fake. To me, this chain strap feels lighter than my walk. My Chanel wallet on chain, I, f I think even in my hand, it feels heavier than this medium. Now, don't get me wrong, I love a light bag. I am so happy that this bag is authentic and it's light um, because it's gonna be more comfortable. And that means I can add more to it without having to suffer on my shoulder, shoulder pain, right? Arm pain. Um, so this is wonderful, I'm, I'm so happy. So without further ado, and I saved this for the video, you see here that I still have the um, tag still on it. So let's see, I'm gonna open this up. Da, da, da. And I am going to officially cut this tag off with you guys. Voila! I am keeping the bag. So I will keep this certificate of authenticity. Zico did send me her own certificate of authenticity, so I have hers as well, which I will save in case I ever decide to sell this bag, but I think I will be keeping this bag forever. She is an absolute gem, she's a beauty, she's in pristine condition, and one of the ways you can really save on the pre-loved market is by purchasing Chanel that doesn't come with an authenticity card. I know many of us are nervous to purchase Chanel without authenticity cards, but you know, fashion file guaranteed it, and I was able to go ahead and get it re-authenticated by a third party, which just further reassured me that this is a fully authentic Chanel bag in pristine condition. I was able to save, you know, roughly $2,000, as I mentioned, and, and I have my own certificate of authenticity now, thanks to Zico. So huge shout out to her. I am so thankful for her services and what she does. Highly, highly recommend if any of you are having doubts about your Chanel pieces or just want some peace of mind. Maybe you purchased it pre-loved and don't have the authenticity card. I will include her information down below. I'll link it so that you can reach out and go through the same process that I went through. Um, guarantee you will be very satisfied and very happy as I am. And the best part about this bag to me is that it comes with the original dust bag. Now, for those of you that have purchased Chanel pieces in more recent years, you'll know that they changed the Chanel dust bag. They no longer use this original classic one with the Coco Chanel Carl Lagerfeld signature um, with the picture of Coco Chanel herself in the middle. It's now all black with just Chanel in white. Um, don't get me wrong, I like it, but this one is just, for me, it's classic Chanel. It's just beautiful, and there's just nothing like it. You've got the two-sided pocket here. Um, I like to keep it with the bag, so I always store it with my bag. Uh, I kind of open up the flap like so. I'll tuck the chain strap in like this, and then I will put it, I'll tuck it in just gently like that and kind of leave it hanging out, almost like a bib, right? It's like putting a bib on your bag. My baby, my baby has a bib. And I just kind of wear it like so, so it kind of 
helps keep the shape a little bit. It prevents any rubbing between the um, flap and the rest of the bag. It also will help decrease any indentations from the interior zippers. I know sometimes um, this zipper here, and you'll see some, some indentation over here, right, on this piece. There is some indentation from the zipper, so I just wanna minimize that as much as possible. You can also tuck the bag or your bib, your, your bag cover or um, dust bag in here to protect it from the zipper. I probably should have done that, but just wanted to show you guys quickly kind of what I do. Um, and I'll do another close-up of this beauty. I mean, isn't she gorgeous? She's just lovely. And there's just something about that Chanel caviar leather that is just beautiful. The, the gloss, the shimmer, the shine off of the bag, it's just unparalleled. It's just like no other. This is what Chanel is known for. So very, very happy with this bag. Thrilled that I could save a few thousand or a couple thousand off of retail. Um, happy that I was able to get it authenticated. Officially keeping the bag. I have detached the tag. So there you are. And that's it. So thank you guys for sticking with me. And if you have any questions about Chanel, authenticating it, purchasing off of Fashion File or Preloved, please, please, please let me know. One rule of thumb I always follow is I will typically shop only if there is a generous return policy. So for me, 30 days is generous. If you can guarantee a 30-day return policy, I will shop from you. I know there's a lot of um, Chanel resellers out there. I just get a little nervous because it's hard to really know. It's like shopping for a car, right? You can't really shop online. You have to see it, smell it, feel it, touch it to know whether you truly love the item. And even then, I mean, I've shopped for things and, and bought them online and I love them in photos and then they come home to me and it just, you know, I'm not feeling it. So I like to know that I can return an item, that I have a generous return policy. For that reason, I will not shop pre-loved if there is no return policy or I can't return the item. Um, for me, Fashion File has been great. I've also used um, Rebag. I've not used the real real. I've heard bad things, so can't speak from my own experience, but I've heard some negative experiences there. But Fashion File has always been tried and true. I love the fact that they were so responsive and able and willing to walk me through their authentication process and just, you know, the process of getting a return if I found the item was not authentic. So again, if you have any questions, comment down below and Please don't forget to like and subscribe my, to my video and my channel. I love your support. I do this for you. I love sharing this passion with this wonderful community. So please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And until next time, bye.